Greetings, my people. Tonight, I thought we would do something special. It is April 27th, and instead of mining on Arcadia at the Corum Coast, or even at the Arcadia Underground, I thought we would mine in my all-time favorite place in the entire game. Even more than the land that I own, who I love to mine up here. I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Forma, Foma Fortuna, or as I used to know it when I was a wee lad, Club Never Die. But a lot of, a lot of great memories up here in this place for me, a lot over the years. So I thought I would come here tonight and bring y'all along, tell you a little bit about it, and uh, we'll mine it up. In case some of you don't know, Foam, Foma Fortuna was the original indoor mining place of Entropy Universe. It was the first one to ever have the indoor mining algorithm of much larger claim size, but harder to find finds. And it was an insane hit. I mean, people were up here so often that the guy, like, I think he made a million or two dollars or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but he made a lot of money off just this piece of property here that we're about to go mine on tonight. So it's insane. And then at one point, I think he sold it. I think he sold it for like $750,000. So I got some coffee here tonight, and I got some peds on the card. I thought we would see what we could do with 500. I really don't want to eat all 710 peds I have, but when you come to Foma Fortuna, you always bring a little extra. So that's what I did. I brought a little buffer ped, which I'm actually going to set to the side here. So that even if we go hog wild on the losing spree, I maybe still have that. So, and without further ado, y'all, let's make sure our mining equipment is all repaired up. And we'll head out. Now, the way that Foma Fortuna works is that there's domes. There's 20 mining domes, and then there is a, uh, a racetrack kind of thing that you can mine at, too. So, basically, you can kind of, like, pick one of the 21, I guess, dome-type places to go. And then either north or south of either end, and mine towards whatever location you want. Like, back to the north end, or mine east or south. I thought since we're here, maybe we'd start it off at the, the main arena here and mine around the racetrack if there's no one else currently out there. Because people hit a lot of good claims here at the arena. I myself have never hit anything really big out here, but I've heard people do, and I've seen it come up here in the window. So, <sighs> Personally, what I like to do, y'all, is when I'm up here, is I like to do 60 ped runs, which will give me 40 drops of ore and end matter. And what I do is I risk 20 at a time in a place. If I hit a claim or two in 20 drops, I'll drop the next 20. I'll spend all 60 peds there. But if I don't hit anything for 20 drops, I'll move on. That way, I feel that I'm not risking too much in a dome that's not actually going to produce any claims. And whether or not that's the right way to do it, I don't know. But it somewhat works for me. I mean, no matter what, you're going to lose up here unless you hit something really big. But sometimes it keeps me alive a little longer than not. So here we are. Let's start our first 60 beds. And we hit an average size 7 plutonium stone. Probably about 7 beds there. Now, if any of you have followed any of my videos in the past where I mine with an amp, a level 5 amp, and I hit claims similar to that size right there, a uh, 7, a size 7 claim, which is an average. Let me see if I can bring it up and show it. Oh, never mind. That's a default deed. But either way, this kind of deed right here, size 7 average claim. That is normally what I will get if I'm amping on a planet surface. But up here on FOMA, the claims are already kind of, I guess, pre-amped, so to speak. That's why they're harder to find. However, you can strap 
strap an amp on up here and go like completely nutso and attempt to like global a lot, which I've done in the past too. I've 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 done it, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's pretty high risk to do that kind of stuff, and I don't suggest it unless you have several hundred, if not thousand, peds that you're willing to risk to come up here and visit. Like honestly, y'all, there's a reason why I come up to FOMA for a mining vacation. It's because I can't afford to live up here. It'll eat my peds away. I can't hang in long enough to finally get that one claim that seems to pay it off. It's rough. I'm not saying like it's terribly bad up here, you know, like don't come or whatever, but like if you're waiting for that lucky one, you can spend a lot of ped really fast before it comes around. That's all I'm saying. Like much faster than on the planet's surface. It's crazy. But we'll see what we can get tonight. It might be kind of interesting and I thought I'd bring y'all along and show you one of my favorite places in the entire game. I used to come up here when I was still in my teens, way back in like 2006, 2005, and I would mine up here all the time. And the dude that owned it, his name was John Neverdie Jacobs. Average, size 7, crude oil, about another 7 peds. And uh, John Neverdie Jacobs would host these parties all the time, you know, he would do like I guess in-game kind of like rave or music events where he'd come and stream music in his domes all the time and he'd do shout outs to us as we were mining if we hit like a good claim you know he'd be like oh so and so's rocking and it was just really cool it was really engaging and it kept you going kept you coming up here and seeing all the crazy stuff that he would try to get you to be part of with him that he had going on like he would bring in djs and stuff from around the world who ample size nine narcanism that's probably about a 12 ped claim there, maybe. 12 to 15. It was a good time. It made me really like this place. I kind of wish he had never sold it. Because, no offense to uh, Mr. Foma, who had purchased a stake share of the majority, but it just kind of lost a little bit of the magic, in my opinion, when we no longer had Ever Die running it. He made it unique. But sadly, he sold it, and I think he used some of that money and put it towards doing his own thing on Rocktropia or whatever his, his planet is uh, he's got going on over there. Which I guess, it's kind of nice. You know, I've been there a few times. It's not quite my cup of tea, but it's a, it's a cool planet. I just miss him owning this. Like, if I could afford to, I would never mine anywhere else in the entire Entropy universe than here at FOMA. But part of what keeps that hard, too, is there's just no ore buyers up here. You can't really sell anything. I guess I could, like, fly down to the planet and try to sell, but a lot of the buyers down there at Twin Peaks aren't, uh, aren't really... Anyone worth selling a lot to, in my opinion. Unless you only want, like, one or two peds for a thousand or five hundred peds of ore that you try to sell them. Give you one extra. Like, nah, man. I appreciate it, but I'll just TT it at that point. As sad as that is. So we hit three claims. Probably about maybe half of what we were doing. We probably hit 30 peds worth over there. So I thought we would do the other 30 and try them on this side and do the full 60, I guess, so to speak, in the entire arena here. And then we'll do another run somewhere else. As you can see, you don't hit a lot of claims here very often. They're pretty few and far between. But the ones you do hit seem to be alright. 
Maybe we'll get ourselves a nice global. And what does it take to be on the Hall of Fame board tonight? Oh, it's going to be 230 ped, roughly, huh? All right. Well, they definitely owe me at least that, so... Who knows? Maybe it'll be tonight, eh? Man, someone other than me is leaving claim rods out here. Makes you wonder sometimes if they took it all. You know? The place already been mined up. Am I too late? Who knows? But it definitely doesn't seem to be hitting on this night at all. That's a buzzkill. And I bet that's probably going to be a thing, too. I bet we won't hit another claim. I'm seeing that already in my future here. In this thing. Buggers! Well, it was worth trying to risk the other half of the run here. I mean, it paid for the first half, so it made you think, alright, flames might be coming in this area. And they're not. They definitely aren't now. We're just going to try to mine, like, I guess, aimlessly anywhere at this point. That side wasn't doing it. We'll just cut east. Not like I could lose any more over there, right? Either going to lose this way or lose that way. So let's do it. I have always wanted to own one of these domes up here too. That was the original piece of land that I truly wanted. But I ended up with Forum Coast. My destiny kind of took me there. And I'm glad it did. I think in the end that's a better choice for me. But man, I wanted one of these. One of these bad boys up here. These mining domes. I would be here every day. Every day. Mining my own property. <laughs> Sad thing is, I don't believe these are as lucrative as they once were. I think a lot of the excitement and the player base has kind of left form of Fortuna compared to once it, what it once had. Seems like everybody likes to mine the Arcadia Underground, but I'm not that lucky over there. So I came out here. Which, obviously, I'm not really giving y'all a great example of how good it is here, either. <laughs> uh. Well, that guy just hit the frickin' global out here. No wonder I can't hit something. He did it. Awesome. Was he already global and I didn't even fucking notice it when I came out here? That would have sucked balls. I wouldn't have come here if I'd known that. Oh well. I hope my claims up here are messing with him. He thinks maybe I took the pet. He doesn't know I lost. Of course, I don't know if he lost. He could be losing more than I am. I bet he's amping. <laughs> Let me go refresh the coffee real fast, y'all.
Oh crap, my bad. I didn't turn the mic back on and I was drilling up some claims and forgot to cut the video. But, oh well. I guess you all are uh, along for that ride with drilling claims there. Next time I'll probably cut the video and uh, extract and then bring you back in. But anyway. Let's see how the first run went. We spent 60 PEDs, 60 US dollars, and we came back with 29.73. So we came back with $2.90. All right, well, that's how she goes here, for sure. But, oh, there's no storage here. Gonna need to visit a storage to make this thing actually work. That way we can see what we get per run. You know how I like to do it. I want to be able to calculate returns and profits and whatnot, and yeah. It's always easier to strip an inventory real fast and then continue on. So we're going to toss it in storage, then go mine another dome. All right. If y'all could, while I'm getting some probes here, think of a number between 1 and 20. And I'm going to do my best to go mine that dome. I will uh, I will psychically connect to one of you and be like, yep, that's the one they wanted. And then we'll go there. Because I'm thinking y'all said dome 11. So let's go to dome 11. 11. I think there might be Belkar there, which would be nice. We'll try to dig up some Belkar. It might be one of the only resources worth a darn with percent wise that I could dig up up here these days. I don't remember what kind of creatures we had. I'm pretty sure Mollusk and Lago, so probably our right to mine through here without being molested. Let's see what we can find. Alright, well, got 60 peds again. Gonna keep doing it in chunks like that so we don't overmine on a dome when it's not hitting. Kinda like how we just did at that arena. That wasn't too fun. So, uh, yeah, average size 7 milky water, about 7 peds. Kind of nice when the first drop is a claim. I'll take it. Already lost 30 peds up here, so you got to pay me back a little bit. Come on, Mind Dark. Show me some love. You definitely, uh, you definitely should, please. I would appreciate it. But that's seven pets so far. If we get another claim or two before we get down to 20 probes, I'll drop the other ones in this dome. If not, if that's all we got, I'm gonna move on, get that one out of here and continue on to the next place. Come on, dome 11. You got something good in you, I'm sure. Nothing. Maybe we'll just uh, continue up here and we'll cut the south part to this valley. And go this way. Do these little creatures, you know. Oh, get stuck on a mushroom. more drops and if nothing then we are moving on to the next dome I apologize if you can hear my cat there. She's being needy, like most cats. 
Average size 7 crude oil. Alright, well that's going to bring us up to 14 ped so far. If we hit ourselves an ample for a medium or so, I'll probably continue to drop in here. But if we don't, then I'm going to move on. Medium size 8 ironstone. Probably about 10 peds there, maybe. 8 to 10 peds, roughly. So, we'll continue on, I guess. Like I said, if I hit one like that, I would, I would do the rest in this dome. So, we'll think that dome 11 may be producing claims. And then we'll try to do the other half here, also. The cat making noise. It's definitely one of those places in the game where you don't really get a lot of stuff, but I guess when you find it, it can be potentially worthwhile. So you just watch your, your money go down and down and down. Average, size 7. About 7 peds. As you hope for another claim. At least on the planet, you can only get, like, you know, usually a couple no resources found in a row, but up here, man, it, it can be rough. I think my record is like a hundred drops without a claim on Forma Fortuna. That was a bad night. That's when you just kind of, you're like, all right. I don't know if I hit on on a bad night or if my avatar was in a terrible loot cycle or somehow one of those things where you just, you just pick the bad dome no matter what. Kind of like that's just the odds, you know, of finding the good one. It's rough. Kind of discouraging, because after a while you're like, well, I'm only losing because they're going to give me one. But then they don't. And then you realize you just continue to sit there and lose at a bad period. Yeah. Well, this run looks like it's probably going to be about 30 pet payback so far. Unless it can be in at a claim or two. So this one's another half returned one. It's not that great. Mine Dark claims you get 90, what, 95% or something like that return. But I'm, I'm not getting it. That's for sure. Not just here, I mean, saying like overall in the game, like, dear God. If I got like 90, if, if I even got like 80% return at this point, like, I would be on the damn Hoff board like every day. But nope. It's supposedly coming, right? They build it up for you. And I'll get my huge five digit loot eventually. Well, ten more drops. See if we get something. At least the coffee's good. I don't care. Ample iron nine, iron stone. That's probably about 12 to 15 peds. That'll help. One more of those, and this will be a good run.
least this dome wasn't god-awful. It produced a few claims. Not what I needed it to. But it, uh... It did a little bit. It could have been worse. Two more drops. Let's see it. again like typical cats and I'll just drill these claims and I'll get back with y'all and we'll start again one moment all right so we got those claims drilled up from dome 11 and let's see what I got 45 out of 60 so 75 percent return on that one yeah getting better No storage. I want to go here to store. That's fine. Main complex. Store it and move on. All right, well that dome wasn't the one, y'all. So let's uh, let's pick ourselves out another, shall we? I think nine's got some critters I don't really want to mess with. I think there are pains in the pooper over there. Let's do let's do seven. And hopefully, something is in here. Not creatures. I want loot. I don't give a shit if there's creatures. I'm not here to hunt. I don't think anyone really comes here to hunt, actually. Who owns this one? Vlad, Vlad, Banokin, huh? Give us a entry message, Mr. Vlad. Open a dome seven, no animals here, land gods, Calderite, Cumbers, Megan, and maybe others. I haven't drilled a Megan stone in a long ass time. Does that even still drop? Ample iron. Yay. Oh. And that finished up my iron challenge for iron. <laughs> That's cool. But that was probably like 12 at 12 to 17 range. I do kind of like Dome 7. I used to mine here a lot back in the day. But I don't remember it having the leak. My memory could be a little fuzzy of what it used to look like before CryEngine. Oh, am I lagging? I think I am. Well, hopefully it doesn't boot me off, yeah? That's probably going to. Yep. Well, sorry, folks. Alright, well, sorry about that. Internet shit the bed. 
And of course, we didn't get a claim and we lagged. It was probably no resources found. Our mind arc just might keeps that one. Oh well, onwards. My global today. Ooh, right there. <laughs> you couldn't have scripted that any fucking better. <laughs> and I didn't even. Uh, it was size 13 abundant worth 65 pads. And then we hit an ample. Uh, size 9 ironstone. So, like, oh, that's that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah. That's funny. But that just goes to show you <laughs> what what FOMA can be like. That any damn minute, you know, it's it can happen up here. You can get something. That wasn't that wasn't all right. Global. It was a small one, but you know, it wasn't anything good, like super crazy. But I would take it. That definitely pays back some of the loss so far. That. Thank you for that, Mind Dark. Well, I hope the uh Y'all are enjoying yourself, whoever's tuned in so far. Ooh, ample size 9, about 12 to 15 ped. Maybe 17. And that I've been, you know, somewhat entertained or gave you an idea of what it looks like or could be like up here on Boma Fortuna. If there's anyone that's never been up here or was curious about it. And also, of course, you know, reach out and ask questions. If anyone does have anything they want to know about being up here, or any miners are thinking about it, or, you know, anything like that, I'm always willing to impart some of my mining knowledge. I don't know if I'm that great at it, don't get me wrong, but I've been at it for, holy god, half my life. <laughs> so there's that. There is that. Jesus. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. I've been playing a video game for like 16 years, 17 years. Times get crazy, y'all. Flies away. Well, here's to another 16 years of Entropia. May it outlive us all. And evolve into something more than it is. Speaking of entropy evolving into more than it is, I heard a rumor one time. You know how you hear like weird rumors and people say shit, but I heard rumors that Mindark, the developers behind this game, were experimenting with ways of transporting someone's subconscious into an online game, and I was like, dude, fucking take mine. <laughs> fucking take me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Are you kidding me? I would, I would outlive 
the rest of my existence in this somehow if I could. I'd be like the lawnmower man of Entropia Universe. I don't give a shit. I'd do it. I would do it. So if somehow you hear that, my dark, and that's a, a verbal agreement. <laughs> But I get to mine Foma. That's that's the caveat. If if I have to live in this game, I get to mine where I want to. And then yes. Don't want to be putting my conscious in the game and be at sweat camp forever. That would be a boner. That would not be fun. All right, one more claim. Come on. Yeah, you were like right there when I turned around. Dear God, Cap. All right, y'all. Well, I'll stop and go drill for a bit. All right, let's see what we uh, got on that run, y'all. Let's calculate that return. That actually was a good one. Got 110 at a 60, so made like 50 peds profit there. That'll take up some of that loss that we had earlier. So we'll probably roll us another run out. Let me go stick this in storage. I don't know why I can't use my ship in here. I thought I could at one point in FOMA, but I guess maybe I never could. Hell, I don't know. It seems like it doesn't want me to tonight. Unless I just can't remember whether I could or couldn't. I haven't been up here in like three months. But surely I'm not getting that senile yet where I think I was using a ship somewhere where I never could have. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, onwards, y'all. Uh, let's try bow dome number two. Oh, well, I selected four, but I think four has got a tracks in it. I don't want to go mess with that. Let's double check. But I did click four at first accidentally, so I mean. Or no, four has eight trucks, but I doubt that they are spawning. Much. Oh, this dude doesn't even have a message. Be happy and why not? Doesn't even doesn't even say who owns it. Well, who owns you? Whatever. Man, if I had one of these, y'all would know I owned it. <laughs> I would have me some pride of ownership. If I had me a, a nasty really dumb. Let me tell ya. Alright. 
Yep, someone just hit a nice claim up here. 398 better somewhere on Poma. Damn, good for him. Guess maybe there aren't creatures much here in Dome 4. I could have sworn there was Aatrox in here at one point. But apparently I'm remembering a lot of shit that may or may not have ever happened and I who the hell knows. Probably smoked too much weed back when I was younger. Ah, who am I kidding? I didn't smoke too much. Can't ever do that. <laughs> Come on, let's hit a claim in Dome 4. Let's hit a claim in Dome 4. Are we gonna hit a claim in Dome 4? Sorry y'all, I was trying to mess with the audio, but it didn't really seem to help, so. Get us a claim in Dome 4. Well, six more drops, and I guess we won't be mining up Dome 4 anymore. We'll move on from that one. Then we'll do that run somewhere else. Come on, three more drops. Let's get a little something. An ample Dianium or... Or Dianum? I don't know. But had you appeared earlier with a buddy, I probably would have stuck around in this dome. But oh no. We'll probably have to move on now, because you're the only claim I found. Diana, we know you're worth, like, a good amount. You did, like, 17 peds there for me, mate. You hit one more plane. to a different dome. I guess we will run through the teleporter. 
Run to the teleporter. And I guess I'll show you all one of my favorite domes up here. I really like dome number six. So let's go see what's bumping in there. Ooh, the north end of six. Now the only downside of six is the freaking creatures in here, man. Other than that, I like it. Let's see if there's one over here I can show them all to you. But it's a good dome other than the damn caperons. Not a fan of them. Not going to lie there. I mean, I do lie there, especially after a damn caperon comes at me, but it is what it is. And yet again, no one, no one takes ownership of their, of their message or down here who owns the dome. I'm guessing you're the same guy that owns dome four. You got somewhat the same message. don't know. Whoever you are that owns this, not sure why you want to be secretive and not put your name down there or a way to reach out to you. Like what if I enjoyed this place a lot? You know, what if this was my number one spot in the entire galaxy? It was Dome 6 and I can't reach out to you and say hi. You should fix that, mate. You really fix that. Show some pride of ownership of what you got. Let other people know who you are. Engage your client base. Ooh, and we're not gonna hit anything. Doesn't seem that way in this dome yet. Granted, we're only like six drops in. I'm probably already, already predicting an income for a already predicting a future that may not come true. Oh yes, Caperons! Level 28. They hit really hard. That's their thing, man. Those, those bastards are feisty. They whip you with that little appendage of theirs. And that was a size 7 uh, oil back there we just hit. About 7 peds worth. I think after this run, I may uh, see how far we've got, what we've gotten overall with our 500 peds, and then I may stop for the night and do the other half tomorrow. Go hang out with the woman I love for a little bit, because Lord knows I've been on here with y'all for the majority of the evening. The time needs to be about her too. It's not always about promoting the business. Even though I guess, I don't know if this promotes Gorm Coast. I mean, me making videos on YouTube. I mean, maybe it somehow helps. Time will tell on that. Maybe it'll get some of y'all out there to go and, and check what I have invested my life savings on. <laughs> like, no joke, I legitly, legitly put almost everything I freaking owned out of the bank into that piece of land. Then I was scared as hell when I did it. But... Y'all have been supportive as a whole. Uh, Entropia has the the people and the players. And I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's actually been one of the better things I've ever ever done with my life. As sad as that is to say, or maybe as encouraging as that is to say, but it was a dream to have one for a very long time, and I followed it. And I look forward to it every day to see who's been on the land and track track the globals and just just see. It's fun. I catch myself throughout throughout the day now just thinking about it or wanting to try to engage or going into the forum and say it was messaging or doing anything like that. It's cool to have something nice to look forward to. And 
starting a business and seeing how it can grow based on your own engagement. It's fun. So, thank you again, everybody. I know I say it pretty often, but Corum Coast really wouldn't be anything without you all, the players. So, I really appreciate it. One more drop. Let's see. Now we'll go drill up that ample blast area and then that average oil we got. Luckily we got that global though, because uh, it would not have been a good a good night up here if we didn't. I figured we'll just drill these claims. I'm not going to cut the video. It's our last two. And we'll continue on for the next segment tomorrow. Or hell, I won't make you all suffer. I'll cut it. See you in a bit. Alright, well, let's see what we ended up on that. Let's toss those in. And be like, well, that run was shite, but at least it was 39 out of 60. Could have been worse. We'll grab everything else in here and we'll see how we're doing so far. So I believe we've spent about 240 pets. Let's see what we got back. Oh, didn't mean to hit market value. My bad. I meant to merge all stats. So I need to get 240 so far. What are we packing? 225. Huh. Not bad. 15 pet off so far. There's still hope. Well, we'll continue that tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to go spend some time with the woman I love. So take care and thank you all for tuning in. And thank you everyone who visits the Quorum Coast, where you can win the most.